Center for Research and Occupational Safety and Health is a research center on the campus of Laurentian University. Our main mandate is to serve occupational health and safety issues for workplaces in Northern Ontario. We, we work with pulp and paper, steel manufacturing, construction, uh, forestry, mining. It can be applied to any of those industries. Uh, we also do work with, uh, with health care. Uh, we also have projects with municipal partners. Many of the issues certainly have a, a global outreach. One of the things that I'm most involved with is, is research around uh, reducing vibration related injuries. Broadly looking at ways that we can have intervention to reduce the amount of vibration workers are exposed to and then come up with solutions to decrease the magnitude of exposure. We'll also measure frequency and the frequency is really important because each of our body parts are more sensitive to certain frequencies. We really want to try to reduce the frequency at which you can have maximal tissue damage so that we can uh, protect the worker from injury. And we're not talking a one-time injury, but over the course of someone working eight hours a day uh, over a number of years, if they're exposed to vibration above you know, recommended standards, that damage can become quite debilitating for them. Uh, prevention through research is, is the key. Poetry uses what's called field to lab to field. So we'll go into the field and we'll talk to the workers, we'll talk to the Joint Health and Safety Committees to truly understand what that problem is. And then if we can't solve it through field research, we'll bring uh, that issue back to the lab. In terms of measuring the vibration, we use what are called triaxial accelerometers. Those allow us to measure the vibration magnitude in each of your, your directions, if you like. At Laurentian University, we're, we're fortunate we just got a, a vibration shaker. It's really a rotopod. It's, it's like a robot with a platform attached to it. So the rotopod can simulate any vibration you put into it. So as long as you're collecting acceleration data, uh, we can generate a code to make the rotopod replicate the movements of the field. And once we replicate that vibration exposure, we can repeat it over and over again, which allows us to, to do a, a lot of what-if sort of evaluations in the lab. So we can feed in information that will allow us to replicate the vibration that you would feel if you were driving, let's say in a mine underground or a dump truck on a municipal road. Let's say, for example, we go back into the lab and we can test different seats because we can replicate that field vibration, try to make that uh, vibration exposure uh, less if we can. Once we think we have a solution, we then bring that back into the field and we reevaluate it. I think overall, when working with workplace partners and, and with workers in the health and safety committees, I mean, that's really where it gets rewarding. Certainly from a societal perspective, everybody wants to come home safe at the end of the day. You have friends, you have family, and so no job's worth doing if you can't do it safely. Mobile Lab is an extension of our research centre, so it allows us to go into the workplaces, meet with workers, meet with labour groups, meet with communities and understand what their health and safety problem is and then try to solve it. We created the Mobile Research Lab because we wanted to be able to engage with workplaces and communities that were more rural and some of the remote areas of Northern Ontario. The vehicle allows us to go to the workplace and understand the problem in the workplace environment. The Mobile Lab itself is 40 feet. We custom designed it. At the front, we've got a training and meeting space. You can watch videos, you can have private conversations, you can fill up paperwork. At the very back of the vehicle, there's a clinic space that's designed for more private interaction. You can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. If we had an occupational health nurse or an occupational health physician with us, they could actually do a full medical exam and check up in that space because it is designed as a medical clinic. And then the third piece of it is kind of in the middle, which is setting a worker up with equipment to send them into the workplace. A lot of the work we've done to date is with mining companies, pulp and paper, wildland firefighters. We're working with psychosocial hazards, physical fatigue, sleep-related fatigue, and the list goes on. Solving human problems is about human interactions. That is MCROSH.